Hello and welcome to Stern FX. My name is Eran and today we are going to tackle one of the oldest limitations of After Effects, which is how to unpre-compose a layer. So as you already know, one of the strengths of After Effects is the ability to pre-compose layers for organization purposes, effects or procedural workflows, as well as speed. Now, sometimes you'll need to go the other way around, meaning you'll need to ungroup these pre-composed layers and release the content back to the main composition. And this can be very useful if you need to get back to the source files or maybe just release a folder stack that was imported from Photoshop. And let me show you what I mean. So I'll start here in Photoshop and I want to bring this file to animate it inside After Effects. Now, as we can see, this has a folder with all the text layers, as well as another folder with all the design elements. And inside, there are a few other folders with some shapes and smart objects as well. Now, the way that After Effects is going to treat each one of these folders is by creating a group for it, or in the After Effects terminology, a pre-comp. So let me show you how this works in the After Effects side. I'll switch to After Effects, and then I'll double click in the gray portion of the project panel to invoke the import dialog. I'll navigate to the same document that I showed you and I'll open it. I'm going to get the import kind dialog and I'll choose composition, retain layer sizes. So each one of the layers is going to be cropped to its minimal dimensions. And in this case, I'm going to merge layer styles into the footage because one of the titles here have multiple strokes and currently After Effects doesn't support it. All right, so I'm going to say okay over here and I'll double click to see what I got. After Effects is going to use the footage dimension to create a composition out of it and the last duration that I've used. So in my case, it is set to four seconds. Now in the timeline here, we can see that we have exactly the same thing that we just saw inside Photoshop. Meaning that if I'll double click on the text layers, I can see all the text here. I'll close this comp, double click on the design elements, and we can see all the other nested compositions that are waiting for us patiently inside this multi-layered document. Now let's say that in this case, I want to animate each one of the bets here independently. I'll need to double click on this composition to get inside it and then animate each one of these layers over here, or I can copy them and then climb one level up, paste it over here, or maybe even climb two levels up into the topmost higher level, which is going to show me everything in context. Now, these are lots of steps to achieve this simple task. So instead of working like this, let me show you a free script that will save you all of this headache. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. I'm just going to delete what I did, double click and import the same file again. I'm going to say, okay, for this dialogue, double click to open it up. And now I'll go to the window menu and under extensions, I'll open up the AE UX extension. This tool was built by Adam Plath, the same guy who brought us Overlord, Time Lord, and Anubis. All of these tools and much more are waiting for you on his website, battlex.co. I've put a link in the description, but today I want to show you this free extension called AEUX. And this is an open source tool built to transform layers from Figma and Sketch into After Effects. Now you can learn more and download this tool at aeux.io. Again, the link is in the description, but I'm going to use this panel as a standalone one, thanks to the fact that it can do few neat tricks on its own, regardless the two apps that I've mentioned. Okay, so I'm just going to drag and park it over here at the edge of the project panel. And then I'm going to click to hide the options and open the groups. And over here, we can see that we have four options, pre-comp and pre-comp, and another tool which relates to guide layers here in After Effects and delete group layers that you are bringing from Figma or Sketch. But this is the star of the show. So make sure to select a pre-comp in the timeline, in this case, the text composition, and then just click on un-pre-comp. 
I'm going to click on the word source name to see the Photoshop names here. And now I can do the same for the other comp. So let's go to the design element over here and I'll use unpre comp. And if I need access to more, I can just select all of these elements and unpre comp them all at once with a single click of a mouse. This means that now I can select the layers that I want to animate. So let's start with those five initial layers here in After Effects, right click on them, and I'll choose Create, Convert to Editable Text, which is text that you can eat. And this is going to create text layers here that I can animate inside After Effects. For example, if I'm going to select the Credits line and go to the Effects and Presets and start to type the word typewriter and double click on this text animation and preview it, you can see that this is going to write the text on screen. And now I can continue to animate the rest of the layers, which I'm going to do in the background. So I'm going to skip forward in time, but let me know if you want me to record a tutorial of how I animated those layers. And so a few moments later, this is what I came up with. I'm just going to maximize the screen and show you the preview. And now let's say that we want to organize this composition again, maybe to the state that it was, or maybe our own organization. So if this is the case, you can select the layers that you want to group together. I'm going to select all of the first six layers, which are the text layers. And I can just click on pre-comp, which is another useful button over here. And this is just going to save me the trip to the layer menu or a keyboard shortcut. I can do the same one for the bets, let's say. So I'm going to pre-compose this one. And of course I can rename it if I need to by pressing return on the keyboard. And I'm also going to, let's say, group all of these layers. And notice that I'm not selecting the track mat, but when I'm clicking on the pre-comp button, if I'm just going to take a look inside, After Effects is smart enough to include the track mat inside this pre-comp, so it is duplicating it. I'm just going to name it Heels, and now I have a more tidy and organized composition without changing any of the appearance. And just to verify it, I'll preview it again. So this is it, a free extension to help you un-pre-compose and pre-compose layers with a single button. Give it a try.